Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to be talking about the altimeter, a little bit about how it operates and how to properly set it in your flight simulator. Your altimeter works by measuring the outside air pressure and it uses that to tell you your altitude. Um, so we measure pressure in inches of mercury. Um, you can just do a YouTube search for a mercury barometer and you can see a little bit more about how that works and how it's measured but we measure air pressure in inches of mercury um, obviously the higher you go the less air pressure there is at about 18,000 feet I believe it's about half of what it is at sea level um, and at sea level if you take every day um, over the course of a year and you average it out the average pressure at sea level is 29.92 inches of mercury now the thing about pressure is that it changes with the weather if you've watched your local weather channel you always see the weather reporters talking about a low pressure front is moving in or high pressure areas moving in um, those are changes to that pressure so the thing is we have to have a way to compensate for those pressure changes on the altimeter because it's never constant even if you're maintaining the same altitude um, so we all have a way to calibrate the altimeter and set the altimeter so that regardless of the changing air pressure if there's a low pressure area moving in or a high pressure area moving in that we can set the altimeter to compensate for that so it's showing us our true height above sea level um, oh and that's another quick thing that we always have the altimeter showing us our height above sea level if we have it set properly. Okay, since my last flight lesson I used the South Bend Airport. I'll continue to use that in this uh, example. Here's the South Bend Airport diagram and the two things we're going to need off of the airport diagram is the ATIS frequency 118.15 and then over here is the field elevation um, of 798 feet. And you can actually see at the end of each runway, there's also an elevation corresponding with that. So for runway 9 or left, the elevation is 788 feet. For 27 right on the other end, that's 780 feet. Uh, 27 left is 769 feet and niner right is 790 feet um, but the overall field elevation the average field elevation is 798 feet so we're going to need to remember that number okay so here we are on the ground at South Bend my altimeter is set to 29.92 and I set the pressure in the weather options to actually be something different than that so right now our altimeter says that we're sitting at about 660 foot above sea level um, but we know that's inaccurate because the airport diagram said the field elevation is 798 feet. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, tune in the ATIS frequency and get the local altimeter setting. So here I put that in COM2 118.15 and then I want to select the COM2 button so I can hear the audio. South Bend RGML Information Hotel. 1500 Zulu weather. Sky clear visibility 25. Temperature 13 viewpoint 0. Wind calm. Altimeter 3002. Arriving and departing runway 18. Advise on initial contact you have hotel. Okay, so the altimeter is 3002 and uh, yeah, X plane 9. The ATIS absolutely sucks on it um, and most of the air traffic control functions are pretty crappy. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator did a much nicer job with that. Um, anyways, so 3002 and you can see in the right hand side of the altimeter here um, that's called the Colesman window that's where we set that number on the left hand side um, that's for setting millibars instead of inches of mercury so just ignore this side for now uh, I'm going to set the altimeter the little knob at the bottom left corner of the altimeter is how we set it and that's our indicator pointer right here so there's 30 inches right there, and then we'll go a little bit higher for 30.02. Um, right now, that puts us, the needle reads 700, about 750 feet above sea level right now. Um, that's pretty close. The field elevation was 798 feet, but remember, that's the airport is not completely flat. 
Um, so we can't just assume that it's a fly airport. There's going to be some differences, or maybe the altimeter is a little bit older. In either case, the rule of thumb is if it's within 75 feet, when you set the, let me back up, uh, you set the pressure in there first from the ATIS. So that was 30.02. We set that in there. And then you read your altimeter, and it should be within 75 feet of field elevation, which in this case it is. And as long as it's within 75 feet, um, then it's considered to be an accurate altimeter setting. Well, that's pretty much it for setting your altimeter. Thanks for watching this lesson, guys. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments below, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let me know what future lessons you guys want to see. Thanks for watching.